overnight into early tomorrow morning. Uh, these showers and possibly a few thunderstorms developing along a little outflow boundary might make it all the way down to Kansas City for tomorrow morning. I hope that we just get the cloud cover for the morning. That might help take the edge off the heat. But once we get into the afternoon, we have a lot of sunshine. You don't see a lot of cloud cover there, and I think the temperatures are going to be right back where they were today. So that means highs tomorrow, low to upper 90s, close to 100 degrees on the Kansas side for Lawrence, Ottawa and Paola. Here's how it'll shape up for Kansas City hour by hour. A few clouds in the morning, a lot of sunshine through the day. 95 the actual air temperature, but when we factor in the dew point, which is just going to make it harder for your bodies to cool, that's why it'll feel hotter. And I guarantee you, we'll have feel like temperatures around 105 degrees again for tomorrow. So that's why we call that dangerous heat, because at 105 with a heat index value, heat exhaustion is possible if you're outdoors for a prolonged length of time, you know, one, two hours long. Here are some of the symptoms that you need to be aware of, not just tomorrow, but through the whole week. Excessive sweating. You know, you do sweat a lot sometimes when you're out in the heat, so that might be a little bit hard to tell if that's just, you know, regular sweating or a lot, but this is a real big giveaway. Your skin becomes cool and pale, nausea, vomiting, rapid, weak pulse. If you start feeling these symptoms, you need to get in the air conditioning. You got to get out of the heat. You need to start hydrating, not just with water, but with a beverage with electrolytes in it as well. The excessive heat wave will last through the entire week as this big heat ridge builds in over the plains, a very common pattern in this part of the country for July. So that means feel like temperatures will be above 100 degrees for just about every day on that seven day forecast. The actual temperature on the thermometer might even make it to 100 next Thursday and Friday, save for a few overnight thunderstorms sneaking out of Iowa. I'm going to give way to the heat and say it'll last all mm. the way until next Sunday.